When selecting an acoustic echo cancellation reference for your microphone, you have to be sure that you are not going to reference your own mic's audio. This will cause choppy and distorted audio from that microphone input. In this example here, we can see that the lectern mic, input number one, is routed to output number eight, which is feeding the room speakers. Now by default, all microphones will be looking at that output number eight or the room speaker's output for its acoustic echo cancellation reference. If we did that with the lectern microphone, it would be referencing its own audio. So what we're going to do in this case is create a virtual reference. So I'm going to drop down the list, create virtual reference number one, and then I'm going to route to virtual reference one any audio I do not want that lectern mic picking up and retransmitting to the far end. So in this case, it will be program left, program right audio, video conference receive audio, and telco receive audio. Also with the virtual reference, we have to tell it which output to track for any gain changes or mute changes. So in this case, virtual reference one output gain tracking, I am going to choose the output feeding the room speakers, which is labeled room speakers, and that is output number eight. And that is how you can create a virtual reference to make sure that your microphone is not referencing its own audio.